Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine Skye and it is quiet land, quiet time in Beaverland. Um, and I was just looking, I was like, why don't I recognize any of these names? Well, the reason why is, of course, I started the game in the unmodded version of it. The modded version has the name table that's drawn from the patrons who have the name and game perk. And um, you have to start it from the Thunderstorm mod manager, which I failed to do. So we apologize for not proper names, but we will get them back starting in this episode again. And I think it was like two episodes that I did without proper names. So anyway, it'll be fine, I hope. Um, yeah, and we're just going to continue on with our colonies and building things and stuff and all the things and all the stuff. Um, so... I guess one thing that we should do is we need to transfer power somehow also from this area to another area and uh, to this this one over here. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that either behind, maybe here somehow and take it this way um, because we are going to need more power for sure. Um, but we do need to set up this colony as a colony uh, fairly soon, I think. So what I want to do... I need to build a couple of things. Uh, let's start off with um, a couple of warehouses here. And these are going to be our farms. Actually, is that one the wrong? Eh, I'll move it a little bit closer, I think. Small warehouse, like right here, maybe. And then a second one there. And then none, none. This one is going to be potatoes. Potatoes. There we go. And then... This one, none, none, and this one is going to be carrots. Okay, and then we'll put farms on the top of these. One there and one there. And then build. Oh! Hmm. I was going to change it to have only one staircase needed, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter. So, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, and then here we can actually build some more housing if we want to. Just thinking about it, some of more of these very tall row houses, which are so convenient. And then we can get whatever we don't have. Uh, let's see, we have these showers are not functional. We need to probably, ooh, wow, okay. Those are, <laughs> they need to be dipping down into here, I guess. Um... Do we want to do that, though? I'm kind of thinking we, we don't want to because it's going to waste this water, uh, which would not be good because the pump relies on that water as a little bit of a backup. Um, yeah, there is that, isn't there? Let's see. What else do we have here? What, we, what can we do here? What do we have? We have one tooth grindstone. These are the, uh, the those things. Um, I guess we can get another tooth grinding stone. That kind of like sends shivers up my spine, but I'm going to try not to let it shrine. Another one, have one there. Okay, so that is fairly compact. So this area here is going to be the farming area. We do actually need this to get uh, more stuff here. Put this as a high priority task as well. We need to chop down all these trees so that we can start farming. Um, but we can start by choosing the area we want to have farmed. I think... I don't remember. I think the potatoes last longer during the drought, maybe. So let's just have this area of potatoes and then a smaller area of um, the other stuff corn whatever the corn this is it's not corn i know it's not corn um sunflowers over here maybe i don't remember if this area was green i don't actually remember but we'll have a little bit of each and it will be fine and they can hold some in farmhouse as well um of certain types so the other thing we definitely need to do is have baby breeding we don't have that either uh i'm thinking we might just add two um two for now two breeding pods for now 
So we need to delete these two and we'll put in the breeding pods there. That's under housing, if you ever wonder about that. Rotate. Okay, there we go. And that's fairly close to the water and the berries, so they don't have to be um, taken too far. Because right now we have four beavers and that's it. In the main colony, we have not enough beavers, so can't really transfer too many people out here currently. This is a high priority job that we need to make sure that that's done. Okay, baby breeding pod is here. We just need a little bit more planks. I guess we're waiting for those from the main city, which they have not brought over for a while, looks like. Uh, yeah, because we have no power. Ah, I forgot to turn on the power. Let's see. I really wish we had, like, automatic, automated stuff for this. Okay, and then, like, if water level low, then turn off X amount of those, turn on X amount of those, you know, that kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah, because we could definitely use some more plank making, more gears, more everything, basically. I think we'll turn off one of the gear makers. I'd rather have another plank maker right now because those are the items we're going to need in New City. Because it's going to be really important to get these farms started. We also need a forestry, which also requires planks. Beaver's injured. Oh no, what happened? Oh no, what happened? He's He's in a bed. He's in the healing bed. Aw, poor thing. What happened to you? Injury. Does it say? Refuses to work. Oh, wow, okay. <clears throat> unemployed. How could he be unemployed? So many jobs to do. I'll turn off this one as well. I don't know. It looks like we have two unemployed, seven altogether jobs. Okay, so this is just... No, this is one job, and this area is two jobs, and overall it's seven jobs. How does that even work? I don't understand this. <clears throat> this math doesn't math. This is not math. <laughs> These are no math. Mathing is not happening. No, 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 no. That is not a thing. Okay, so let's see. Instead of, I'm going to turn off the deletion of these for now. Um, and I'm going to just try to gather these berries right now, uh, really quick. So we have something to put into the berry, uh, pods there. I'm just going to put a really quick berry hut right here. Okay. Somebody is working there and they are collecting berries. Perfect. And then we can delete them. Then we can delete any bushes that don't have berries, and that's fine. That way we'll at least have some berries to transfer into the younglings uh, place there. Okay, they already are full. Okay, so that's fine. I think we'll just leave it at that, and then we'll just delete now uh, these different uh, berries. That, oh, come on. I think that was the autosave or something. I think it's the autosave. It doesn't actually say on the screen. I'm just assuming, I guess. Okay, so here, this is where we need to get metal. Now, the question we need to ask ourselves, really, is where are we going to process the metal? We're we going to process it here. Are we going to make it easy on ourselves and chuck it back over here? I think we're, we want to make it easy and chuck it back over there. I think that's the best way to do this, honestly. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, we do have some farmland that is not going to be populated, but let's just let it keep flowing here and see what we got. I think I'll put the forestry hut like right here and then a down staircase right there. I think that's probably the easiest to do. Maybe even put a staircase with a road up to here and down here again. So, oh, with this isn't, of course, yeah, that's not populated. Of course it's not. Why would it be? That would be weird. 
that would be strange. But maybe down there will be also possible to populate the stuff. We'll see. <clears throat> we need to get rid of all these bushes first. Uh, those have got to go. Take this a little bit further so beavers can go. They can go further and further. Oh, this is all quite happy here. Okay, let's go ahead and put one of these on priority here. And that way they can start planting and stuff. And then the cutting, we need to keep on cutting these trees. All these trees, apparently they forgot to go. I don't know. I think we were trying to get the road or something going there. That's why we turned off the cutting for a tiny bit. Okay, this is going quite swimmingly. We have tons and tons of food, which is great. Um, we're also getting stuff. A hundred gears. Wow, that's a lot of gears. Why are these plank makers not working? Are they lacking something? Oh, they're full of planks. Hmm. That's weird. Let's go bottom level and see if if and when we have any of these having planks. Okay, those are houses. Zero, zero, zero. A lot of these have nothing in them. 20 what? Chestnuts. I think we're looking here. Planks. I like how this like remembers where on the menu you are. That is super, super handy. I bet none of them have planks because I have failed to design them that way. Okay, so I think we're going to put in planks. This one's already full. Put planks here. And I don't I don't know if we had gears in any of them either. Let's check for gears. You know what we need? We need one of those like there's a there's a function uh, or a mod I think in Factorio that like tells you where you have stuff stored. That would be so good, or at least able to label the top of these things, that it would say gears on the top if you were looking at the top of it. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, let's put the gears here next to the planks. Okay, so that was kind of a mistake there that we forgot to uh, allocate a place for this stuff to be stored. Um, but it is going to increase right now because we now have these things here. Okay, so let's put a road. It looks like we need to delete this crop over here uh, because we have um, stuff we need to have a road here. Um, that is such bad English. Don't copy that English from me, please. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Anyway, it'll, it'll get fixed. It will get fixed. It will be fine. It will be fine. Uh, hmm. I miss hearing those words from the someone who always says them to me. <laughs> but it's okay. It will be fine. Definitely will be fine. We'll, we'll get there. And this area is coming along very nicely as well. I would like to get this one on high priority of removal, please, folks. Can you? Thank you. Now, we do actually have an issue here. I think... We can't actually get down here, so we might need to build a... Well, there's two things we can do. Uh, let's do this first. Let's do this, because I think if we build that there, then that will enable them to go down this slope. Yes, it will. Okay. That will make things a little bit easier for us. Uh, yep, if they remove that bush, life is better. Okay, and now let's plan out this forestry hut. I think we put it here. I think this is a great, great spot for this because it, it goes to so many places right now uh, if we put it there. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll have this road going here and there. And we will delete the road here. Yes. Okay. And then... And then we wait. We need to wait for them to clear the rest of this. We have a staircase down here. We can have this bush area there. We have this staircase down there. Um, and then we need another one here, potentially, um, to just increase access to all of this area. 
And um, I don't know if we want to have a special forest here. Or we just want to have a regular forest. I'm not quite sure here. Uh, but we'll see. We need to just make sure that we have enough beavers doing things. We don't actually have enough beavers doing anything, really. Here we still are lacking one beaver doing stuff and things. Okay, now that we have the summer flow, we're going to turn off these guys. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to send more people to the other colony. We now have six beavers unemployed. Um, so what I'm going to do, well, five, let's send four over. Let's do that. Where's our colony center? Here we go. So migrate population over to district five. Okay, sure. Um, four? Sure. Why does it say four again? Does that mean they got eight? I don't understand this way of counting. No, it's still four. Okay. So I, I, I don't understand this. Is this supposed to be like what their population is? I don't get it. I really don't get it. This is stupid. I don't like this interface at all. Manual migration. Yes. Can we please have some? No. To District 5? No. FFS, man. Let's, I guess we do to 8? Is that saying we need 8 over there? I don't, I don't get this. I hate this new system. I really don't like it. It doesn't make any sense. I, I preferred before. I, I mean, I guess there's an automatic migration or something where maybe you're supposed to keep a certain number of beavers in stock. Is that what it's for? But this like manual thing, that's not the man. That's not manual. That's just saying, oh yes, I want this many in the colony. No, I want to send over four, not eight. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, that's probably just my gripe. Probably other people love this. I don't know, but I don't like it. I mean, the other portion of it, I might like. The whole, like, let's keep a certain amount in here because this is how many we want and need and that kind of thing, and overflow can go over somewhere else. I understand that functionality. I get that. and I, That seems cool, but this manual thing is not, no, it just ain't. It do not do the thing that we want it to do. Nice. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Really isn't important at all. We will be fine. One, two, three, four. I'm going to try to build a Lido over here. Uh, because... Oh, okay. Well, okay. That's interesting. Has to be there anyway. I see. So now we will delete, or maybe what we do, what we'll do is we'll just unplant these guys. Yep. Oh, and we need probably a, yeah, we need a road pathing thingy thingy over here for that. Okay, good. Okay, so now we can build our thingy over there to be there. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That is supremely nice. So, do we end up getting chestnuts? I don't know. Um, I think we can move this guy over elsewhere. Okay, so let's just pause this one and move him here. We want to keep this square open so that the forester can go that way out of his house. Just make sure that you are doing things the way we need to do them, by the way. Okay, and we also have nowhere to store the berries and chestnuts. So I think what I want to do is put a tiny chestnut grove over here and make this no cutting of trees here. So let's just remove the cut. Oh, actually we don't, all right, let's just take all this off. Uh, and we have other whole layers of crap that we don't need over here as well. Okay, and then we'll make cutting orders for all this stuff over here. Whatever that's going to be. Because we don't actually know yet. Ah, and we need to go down here as well. I forgot about that. Um, let's do stairs here. 
And then more cutting orders over here. Cutting, cutting, cutting over here. Yes. And then we don't cut this grove. These we cut. It's fine. Uh, do we want over here? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Let's cut this plateau there. Cut these. This is going to be the chestnut grove over here. And then we'll cut this. Whatever these are as well. Okay. Seems legit. Seems good. Mostly. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, let's make the chestnut grove real quick. So I, because I remember where it is now. So that's going to be there. And then, do we want anything else? We don't have a tapper's shack yet. And for that, we need maple and pine. Let's see, this thing. Um, we could do a, like this. We need one of these as well. Two squares. Eh, I don't know about that. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, well. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it is fine. It is fine. Okay, so if we have a tapper's shack, which we don't actually have yet. Um, uh, yes. That enables us to make maple pastries. I don't know if we need to have the pine resin here at this area, but the maple pastries might be quite tasty uh, for our little little bears. Um, maybe we make this area maple. Let's do uncutting of trees in this area specifically. This whole line can be maple that are uncut. I mean, normally we, we make maple everywhere because they are more efficient for planting and cutting and stuff and things, but actually maybe this section of maple can be also uncut. Let's see. I don't know how many we need for this. I haven't actually mathed that out. Maybe that's worth mathing out. Maybe the whole, like, how many do you need for certain things? Also, I don't know if I need this area. I don't think so. But I might. Hmm. Let's see. This one. This can probably... Let's do a... This and that. And we can also plant over here. This is also a high priority job that we need uh, people to do. Can we, should we take this out? That is the question, I guess. What is this area? Okay, this area actually has... Okay, we need to get the, these stairs in. These are important stairs. And then we can decide where else we need stairs and things and stuff. Uh, but for right now, I think we can plant a few more trees here without worrying about other things. We can do these here. I don't know if trees still suffer f or will suffer the uh, debuff of being drowned or not. That is a question. Remember, we used to plant trees like that were perma, perma thingied. Yep. This is still not done. Oh, they have nothing to do. Okay. Oops. I thought that was the staircase. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. All right. And that can be cleared for having uh, crops there. Let's go and plant some more sunflowers in these two squares. And then up here, let's fill in these spots that have been vacated recently by other crops. Okay, and these need to be deleted because these are just naughty trees that decided to live there and they're really not authorized for this. Okay, seems great. In fact, I might actually take off I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take two rows off of this and make those corn, uh, this corn. Um, I don't know why they look like corn to me today, but they do. They look like corn. Um, and we'll make those carrots instead. 
because we don't have enough carrots, I feel. Um, and then what we can do is create a staircase here uh, in order to make some wonderful potato grilling places. Actually, oh, I know what we could do here. Yeah, let's put in warehouses here. Put in one there, and we can actually fit another one if I had done this part correctly, which I did not do. Uh, go away. Okay, and then another warehouse here. Uh-huh. Yes. Um... And then these, let's just none, none. And this one will be grilled potatoes. And then the other one, I guess the other one can be just sunflower seeds or grilled chestnuts. Yeah, let's do grilled chestnuts. Because we have those uh, available to us. Okay, so now let's get a griller. Grill, one, two... We could do a third one if we really want to, but we'll put in the road here. There we go. Um, so then the other thing that we need to work on, really, um, is getting... Um, the metal shipped back. That's a tiny, tiny job. Uh, uh, how big is that building again? Let's look. It's that big. Okay, so... One, two, three, four... Wide. It's a weird shape, too. One, two... One, two, three, four... And then it's got these funny wings on it. There we go. That works. And we can have a little road underneath if we want to go this way. And then, of course, more room for shrines and the whatnots and all the things and all the stuff. So now they should be fairly set for food, I would think. As in, we probably don't need to... Uh, the, the other colony doesn't need to feed them anymore, which is great. All right, we have a Lido, but no path to get there. My goodness, that's terrible. So now what? The building needs deeper water to function. Are you kidding me? Oh, for God's sake. Fine. Fine thing, fine. What else can we build here? Is there anything that needs water? Um, not really. We could build a mud bath out here. Uh, we, we can't afford it yet. Shrine. No, we can't really do much with this area. It wastes a lot of farmland as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the road. Uh, I won't delete the platform since we have them already, but I'll delete the road and we can just farm this instead. There we go. Oh, and here we go with this. Okay, perfect. Really looking nice now. Things are good. Okay, this area can also be farmed for trees. So I'm going to add more maple here in this area. Okay, there we go. Trying not to make sweeping hand movements, basically, so that we don't have other problems with this. We're, I really want to make a couple of little pocket hole 
places here to add more trees and so we can get some more of like pine resin farmed and things like that that's kind of my goal right now with that now it's my intention to keep this colony fairly small uh let's see we have 10 beavers and three four younglings right now uh that's good it's very good so let's see we need to build this thing soon but we're we're kind of dependent on planks from elsewhere we do how many employees are lacking here we have actually two people that are out of work uh right now so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna build them uh into a make them make their own lumber i think that's the way to go right now just do a simple setup into a lumber mill so i feel like having a lumber mill is really important even at a sh very tiny level it really helps to build stuff out especially all the platforms that we've been needing and stuff like that all right we've got a 6.6 .6 day drought coming ahead of us um things are set up so nothing should be uh lacking so i'm not really worried at all one of the things I think I should do is with these berries, maybe I need to just make a smaller berry area or change the area of the berries. So it's not like, I don't know, all over the place. Feels kind of strange that it's like this big, massive, like whateverness. But I guess it doesn't matter. Well, it definitely doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see. We have three beavers uh, needing work. So we'll put you to work here. We'll see how many we have. It's like five. Oh. Um, we have ten vacancies. That's a lot. I wonder if we're lacking. Okay, died of old age. A lot of people dying of old age. Um, I'm hoping that this beaver stuff is keeping up. Should be fine. I'm wondering also if I should make another tower of lumber. I could put one right in the middle of here. Let's see. Paths and structures. How can we do this? Let's see. Storage, log, pile, storage. Okay, we can't go above that. It has to be the ability to go around the thing. And that won't work either because it's above one of these little guys. I guess I can move them elsewhere. Let's just delete them for now. This... Oh god, it's got 20 logs in it. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're not worried about that at all. Um, so now, what we do here is we get this. Put it here. Next, 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 next. That should be tall enough, I think. So... So then we go around with the twos till we can't. It's a three here. I'm going to go ahead and put in pathways right now. So that's always important. So now we go threes most of the rest of the way because that's the, the tallest and then one additional under each place with a staircase okay and then they start stacking mm -hmm. there we go so here we do one and one oh yeah and then this whole thing is one actually because we actually need a four there Oh, I forgot to do the road on this side. Okay. And then we go again with the threes as far as possible. And 
then once again. Okay, let's get with the path. So, oh, whoops, stairs. Stairs important. Okay, and that's as far as we went. We didn't add another one above that. That's the tallest one. Okay, well, we have lots of log storage now. Should not be an issue. And here, why are things slow here? I wonder if we have any logs here. We have zero logs, that's why. We need uh, people to carry them over from the main colony. I think that's that's the main problem with setting up a new colony, of course, is the, the lack of water. Uh, like here, these log areas are dried out. But the also just starting a new forestry area is pretty tough. I mean, what we did is we just basically deleted every single tree we had. Uh, and then completely planted a new forest from scratch. So that's a bit tough to start into, but it's fine. It will be fine. Okay, now here is where we needed to replace our woodcutting uh, areas. And those are going to be high importance. There we go. That, we got that sorted. Everything is going well, I think, in general. All the good stuff is happening. This is so strange to me that we have seven vacancies. And let's see, and one extra person. I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these uh, science huts. And then here, what do we have here? Here we have eight vacancies and one person. How does that work? Wait, oh god, this is bad. Oh my god, this is really bad. Uh, uh, okay, okay, delete, delete, delete. I forgot. Yeah, nobody can get to this workplace, that's very bad. Okay, they have... Okay, now it's, it's better, better. Good, good. Now, we can actually fire the forester right now and put him doing something else. Because he can't plant anymore anyway. And it's all growing. You can micromanage the forester pretty easily that way. Um, works. Also, in this living area, we can actually either build more houses or we can start putting monuments on top of them. That is another option that we have with things and stuff. So one of the things we can do here is we can also change uh, the layout here of this and we can put the buildings on either side of a road and put a little amenities on the side as well. So if we do something like this, um, that can even connect into there as well. But we need to have a way to get the path downward as well. That is necessary so that looks very difficult right from here <laughs> looks really difficult uh because we didn't leave a space for it which is not ideal as you can imagine but um we might be able to get it from this side somehow oh wow they're already building this up that's crazy uh, they're very good at this they're doing their best Okay, and then let's go ahead and get the housing up here. We can get the large barracks as well. This has 16 inhabitants. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what that's like. Oh, this is perfect. Well, maybe not perfect. Maybe not, because we were going to have amenities here as well. But I guess what we can do is just have large, large, and then the regulars here too, like this, and just have a single road between them. That's okay too. Um, that is definitely okay. And they have their entrance there. And if we want to, we can try to put a 
thingy here and then try to twirl it around a tiny bit. Let's see if we can do that. Can we do a third height? Yep. Okay, so we have road going up this way. Uh, and then up here. And then again here. There. Okay. So that's how to get up. But we don't know how quite to get down yet. <laughs> Not quite yet. Not quite down yet. Uh, so in case we want to build another layer on top, we can. That's what this is here. Though at some point it may get too tall. I don't know. Uh, okay, so we still have to get up to this height. Which we have not yet organized. Um, we don't have any flat apartments. So we could make more flat like warehouses here. If we want to, I think that could be okay. Let's see, small warehouse here. Okay. Again, we'll knot it out. No, wait, it's the other way. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry. It's not critical. Doesn't matter. None it out. There we go. Um, and then... We take this road, which is giving us room for these citizens here. And we add another of those houses. What I'm trying to do, if you're wondering, like, what, what is this for? The reason I'm doing this the way I'm doing it is basically so that we can put monuments on the top of this whole structure and have a massive amount of housing that is covered by the monuments. Right? That's the idea here. That's what we're looking at. And, um, yeah, so that's what kind of is, is happening here. Um, uh, but building underneath all of this stuff is quite weird and interesting, I guess. Let's see. Let's try to delete this thing. And then... Maybe we just put another housing block there instead of this stuff. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's put another barrack here. Just make sure the door is facing the correct way. Okay, and then we'll cover the uh, this again. Okay. Over to here. Okay, so we're looking to get up here. Uh, that's where we're currently struggling. Um, all right, let's keep on building. We can build this thing there very easily. And that means we can build more of this here. Well, we can even have a passageway there as well. Let's see, double height there. We can have this one uh, still there. Like that, and just have a tiny road there. Uh, road. Like this. Okay. Just keep on marking that out. So, but that means that we do have the need to have another step over here, uh, which is okay too. Let's see. This needs one, two, three, and that means we can build a big barrack here. Like there. This actually means we could build row housing here if we want to. If we need to get this staircase down. And it wouldn't be a terrible idea actually. Because we could put mud baths or something on these two spaces. That is definitely a possibility. Do we have enough? We don't have enough points for it. Um, but they are 3x3. Three three, or 2x2 two two, I should say. Uh, I don't remember which side the entrance is on. Uh, so this staircase might mess that up a bit. They are one above the thingy, though. So we could have one mud bath and one something else. If this is where we choose to come down. Um, which wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, 
In fact, this might be a good place to have an interconnecting stairways and in, have interconnecting stairways that kind of connect all all of these different areas together. Okay. So, all right, very cool. Now this obviously needs to be fixed. Let's just go and do this and take it all the way down. Okay, tiny bit messy at the end there, but it's okay. I think it will work. And I'm hoping this will work with the mud bath. If not, we could actually have those interconnecting stairways go down that way. That's also possible. But it looks okay. And then, of course, this area could also have housing in it. It just depends. But right now, I believe that we are able to go and do everything here. We have abilities for basically to build the entire thing, to live in the entire thing as well. So this is not uh, an issue in any way. Let's say construction lacks materials. We're missing logs? Really? Okay. That's weird. Uh, have we gathered? We have gathered scrap metal. So now I would like to build those scrap metal making thingies um, because they seem useful. So they will be on this side of stuff, I think. So we can start off, of course, with our handy dandy storage buildings. Let's just put them in line with the other stuff. I don't know if we need to have another one or we, if we care. We may not. We may have enough space already. So. And of course, it's nice to interconnect them with having the building on top. So that's really handy. Uh, connecting them this way because those metal working buildings are very very big um, and they are quite long which is fantastic I think I am going to delete this and I'm going to make room for these warehouses um, so let's just take those out I think we have more than enough space for plants so we can even add some back here if we want to just add in these potatoes here approximately. It's, it's not the same size, a little, little less, but it isn't really necessary at all. Okay, so things are happening and stuff is going. Are these growing? It is flooded and it will die. Oh, sad times. Okay, it's not good. I didn't know that they did that. So now we have our answer at least. That's good. All right, so that other colony is going to have to deal so metal stuff we want to get we have a smelter and an efficient mine these are from underground mines so all we need right now is a smelter which we can afford thankfully wait are we still doing power of course we're doing power wheels why would we why would we not be because there's no freaking automation in this game oh that drives me crazy that i can't just can we just please have automation turning things off and on it's so annoying to not have it it's like why come on okay anyway it's fine uh in other news we could add another water wheel are these both producing stuff 400 and 500 that's pretty good i think what we can do is actually put in another one and mm, I think here so this crop there needs to go okay and then we take oh that's a shame that I didn't leave one space here uh, we could move it though I think that's a good idea that we just move that And then these crops will, will be forever inaccessible, but who cares? Let's just delete these two. Oh, of course, these have to be deleted a different way. Yes, I do wish to delete them. All right, and then we do a thing where we have this here. And then we have the up, 
upward mobility there. Okay, how are we doing over here? Can we move stuff yet? No, we're missing... Uh, oh, I thought it was missing one log, but no, it's missing quite a few. Quite a few. 17 logs are missing. Mm. Wow, all the beavers getting water. Holy fuzzy cats. Let's put these on higher priority. I don't know what's taking time, but this is obviously of concern to the beavers. I guess we've been building a lot of pathways and stuff and things too. All right, so now we have 167 free beds. Homeless minus one. How do you have a negative person homeless? I don't understand this. This is most interesting math. Okay, let's just put in our storage uh, warehouses here. And then zero them out. If I did that one first. No, it's still, it did, did zero out all the numbers, even though it wasn't showing. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the metalwork. Oh, not that yet. Hold on. We need this. And this, probably. Yep, that's the level. Good, good. Let's go back to our metalwork and pick on this thing. All right, and get a couple of smelters. They, I think they eat a lot of electricity. No, 200 horsepower, hamster power, pardon me. Yep, 200 hamster power. But anyway, it's going to take a little while to get those going, especially since we don't have the scrap going. Um, so I think we're going to have to leave this until uh, tomorrow. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.